Listen, we all want free shit, but every time something is free, we tend to question the quality of it. You're like, hmm, why don't they want my money? What's in it for them, huh? But what I'm about to show you is not only free, so we're not talking 30 day trial or any of that, but super useful and time saving when editing in Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro, Premiere Pro, Premiere Pro, Premiere. So let's not waste any more of your time and look at the first free plugin used by a ton of video creators out there, myself included. My favorite is number two, but we'll get there. Keep in mind, Premiere Pro has to be closed when you're installing them. And yes, I will leave the links to all of these plugins in the description of this video for you to download. Premiere Composer is a plugin I've been using for several years now and this one is a no-brainer guys. On their website you can already just, if you scroll, you're gonna see what exactly this plugin is offering. You've got typography, you've got sounds, icons, different shape elements, and all of those sound effects you keep hearing in your favorite YouTubers, you know, all the beeps, the swoosh, the puff, the glitch, the crack, the click, the... These are basic sound effects, but they're so hard to find sometimes, you don't even know what to search for. Cling, clang, swoosh, whoosh. At least you get the basic ones that most of us need, and you get a good starting point. It works on both Mac and Windows, and after you install it, just open Premiere Pro, go up here to Window, extensions and you should find it here called Premiere Composer. Right away you'll see if you go up here to start a pack you're gonna see all of these elements ready for you to go. You got text boxes, transition, social media elements like you know subscribe to my channel, like this video and so on. You've got some really cool useful transitions over here that I gotta be honest, I use pretty often. For example, I really like the pan or zoom transition. Just make sure it's clicked and then you click add. And what's cool about it is that it adds a sound effect to it, which of course you can remove, but I think it goes pretty well. You've got cool text presets that maybe you're either lazy to make or you don't know how to make. So you can just click on one of them and then click add. And then of course they let you customize pretty much anything about it. You can change the font, the size, uh, you can change the color, put a shadow, whatever you want, they let you do it. It just makes everything so easy and saves time when editing really. And to be honest, you'll be surprised how useful these shape elements get sometimes. Like, just to have an animated arrow ready to go, you don't need to animate it. Or first of all, find the arrow yourself and then animate it. You've got animated rectangles and other kind of shapes. But I'm gonna let you discover all of the other tools it comes with. But listen to me, I've been using every single one of them at some point or another. And this really is a no-brainer to have. And last but not least, if you're using Adobe After Effects, you're in luck because it works there as well. The next one is called AE Juice and this is really my favorite one as I said. I'm out of words, I can't argue to myself how come this is free because you get so many things with this one and obviously it's available for both Windows and Mac and once you install it you find it in the same place, you go up to Window, extensions and click AE Juice Pack Manager. So as you can see under free over here, you're getting all of these packs, which I'm gonna open in a second. But actually the only reason I think these are free is because under store, they have all of these guys, which obviously they're trying to get you to buy some where they make the money on. Fine by me, give me all of this stuff for free and maybe eventually I'll buy some stuff if I need some more advanced things, but yeah, I'm really, really grateful for this plugin. Just double click on any of these and open the packs. You go back here to home to open the next one. And just like that, you have them in your tabs over here. This is how I like to have all of mine. Just open all of them. And once you open them, you just have them there. So I can just navigate on the tabs. The reason I'm impressed with this plugin is because you really get a lot of things on each category. You don't just get three, four sound effects. You get a bunch of them. Check this out here. Like... This is huge. Back in the day, you had to pay for every single sound effect. You've got a bunch of transitions over here under the slides category. And obviously the one you're probably gonna be impressed with is the starter pack over here, where you got glitches, backgrounds, shape elements, titles. 
and whatnot. Guys, this really is a gold mine. This right here would take me at least 20 minutes to make in After Effects. This, for example, goes pretty cool with the skateboard footage. Let's try to make something cool on this landing over here. I need something like this to make it look like dust. Let's see this one maybe. And if I haven't mentioned yet, these are not on your computer. All these resources are somewhere on a server. And whenever you need one, you can see here I'm downloading them. So you will need access to internet to use them. Can you see it over here? We need something else. Maybe we add some debris on impact. Let's see this one and put it so it kind of looks like it's coming from these pipes over here. So it has to start exactly when he lands. Just some super basic masking maybe. Change the mask a bit. Maybe just the opacity, 50%. Let's see. Obviously, if this was a real project, I would spend more time, but look how much we added just with those two effects. The cool thing about these kind of things is that they can really spark your creativity as you watch them. So you don't have to have an idea, but if you watch an effect, you're like, mm, maybe I can do something with this, you know? And then you start working from there. If you think the first two were pretty cool, check this one out. You want to start a video project and you need a song. And all the songs you found that are free are and you don't want to pay for Epidemic Sound or Artlist or all the other platforms. What do you do? I got you. This tool called SoundQ is of course available for Windows and Mac, but actually an app in itself for desktop where you search for your music, you search for your sound effects, and when you find what you like, you either download them on your computer or send them straight to Premiere Pro. And to be honest, ever since I started using Epidemic Sound and Artlist and so on, I kind of stopped looking for this kind of tools and I'm super impressed that it's like a huge audio library for free. So you go on their website, you download the version for your system and they will ask you to make an account. So make an account, don't be lazy because you get a lot in return. And once you've opened it, it really just works like a huge database of songs and sound effects. You can search for whatever you want over here. Really, I'm, I'm still blown away because this is so new to me, although it's not such a new tool. And at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what you edit in. You can be editing in Final Cut Pro or DaVinci, you can just download them to your computer. So let's say I'm in here and I really like this song. All I gotta do is go down here, send to, either I put it on my folder, on my computer, on my hard drive, or send straight to Adobe. Make sure Adobe Premiere is selected and then click on this and then you get a sound cue folder over here, drag and drop it into your timeline and you're good to go. With the free version of this you get over 2000 sound effects and about 100 music tracks to use in your videos. I guess along the years the competition got so high with all these platforms coming up every month, every year that you gotta get some of this stuff for free so that you can look up the other stuff that you can buy from them. So that's why you know you get all of these presets and songs and whatnot because people want to get your wallet eventually by giving you stuff for free. Hmm, just like the drug dealer. And I gotta tell you, these sound effects are something, like, they're not just, you know, swooshes and clicks and bangs, like, they're actual, like, you know, maybe you need some ambience. Maybe you need some construction trucks. A helicopter? But really, these are my three plugins or tools or whatever you want to call them for Premiere Pro that I can't live without, period. But hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao. I gotta do something about this. Every time I put my hands on the desk, it's an earthquake.